this video, I put professional player Kino from Team Xset against two of every rank until he lost. How well do you think he's going to do? All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round number one here. Kino is going to be trying to get to at least the plat players. The reason for this is that the last time I did this video with Newers, Newers was only able to make it to the golds before he lost. So Kino's goal here is going to be at least the plats. But with that being said, Cleveland inside of Trophy right now going to shoot out his first Twitch drone and going to be shooting towards that master balcony where Kino is standing. But Kino very swiftly going to push straight into master right now. Going to swing. That's the first kill for Kino onto Detroit. Here comes the swing from Cleveland and it's all Kino. Both kills for Kino. No problem. Round number one going to the pro player. Already interesting choice by Kino to be picking up the Cali. We're going to see what he plans to do here. He's going to be pushing towards the big window. And currently, we don't have either of the defenders playing by it. So this could be an easy rush for Kino. He does have the pre-placed drones inside of sight. So he's going to be able to see, hey, this is clear. Let me hop in. And Kino is in sight. But he's going to have to contest with Cleveland, who's just on the other side of this bunk. But here comes the swing from Kino. And that's going to be the down. Cleveland going down. It's all up to Detroit now on the smoke. He does have smokes, which he's going to try to use to throw over that. But he's going to miss and hit the door or the bed instead. And Kino with the swing going to take him out. Round number two going to Kino. Oh, we could have a spawn peak here coming out from Detroit. Oh, it's not going to work, though. Kino, too vigilant, going to take him out. It's all up to Cleveland now, who's still reinforcing inside of Attic. And Kino, likely going to try to rush the big window once again. He's most likely got this pre-placed drone, which is exactly right. He's got the pre-placed drone here. He's going to see the thorn trap set up. He's going to be able to open up the sight window and decide how he would like to push this here. He's going to be looking for Cleveland, who is just underneath his drone, actually. And I'm not sure that Kino had even saw him. Now he's gonna have to be careful of these thorn traps. He's gonna activate one here in a second, just on the big window. Cleveland just playing very passive right now inside of the kids' dorms. You know, gonna try to go for a plant here. Cleveland not really sure what he wants to do. He's just gonna be playing passive, just waiting. He does have the C4 to deny this if he so chooses. You know, gonna get off the plant now, trying to bait it out. The swing here from Cleveland, but it's not gonna happen for him. Kino, 3-0 now. All right, here we go. I actually really like this castle setup from Kino, able to block off so many different entrances. But the problem is Cleveland's going to be on that sledge. He's going to be able to swiftly take out those castle barricades. And Detroit, actually, with the shotgun online, going to be able to open up that hatch that Kino failed to reinforce because he likely just did not have the time necessary to reinforce it. Two minutes left on the clock now. Kino just waiting patiently for the hatch drop. Cleveland going to drop a different hatch, though. He's going to be pushing freezer right now. Detroit trying to push down through the tower stairs, and I'm not sure that Kino knows it just yet. Freezer Castle's going to get opened up. Here comes the shotgun. Ooh, it's not going to do enough damage. Kino trying to get the last kill onto Cleveland inside of Freezer. He's about 50 HP. Kino's only one, though. No grenades on Cleveland, opting for EMP grenades instead. Interesting choice. Looks like Kino's trying to style on him with his famous tune here. Is it going to work? Oh, not quite. Cleveland just hiding inside of the freezer. Do you really blame him right now? Kino's going to rotate back into the site now, but Cleveland knows about this. He would be holding that angle onto the B-bomb. Kino's going to rotate back into pillar now. Kino's really gotten him pinned. Despite him being on 1 HP, Cleveland is terrified to peek right now. The smart thing for Cleveland to do is just a peek, just like this. He's 1 HP. All you have to do is hit him once. Minute and 15 seconds left on the clock. Cleveland needs to make his move as the time is not on his side right now. Here comes the swing. It's not going to hit, though. Ooh, somehow he's able to get into the bomb site. actually. Kino, not in as good of a spot as he just was right now. The swing coming out in through E-Box right now. Kino trying to get some wall bangs as well. 50 seconds left. The drone's going to come out from Cleveland, but it's likely not going to give any sort of useful information. Actually, Z-Pings are coming out from that drone in the... General vicinity of where Kino is at right now. Oh, the swing from Kino. He's going to miss his shots, and Cleveland's going to punish him for that. That one HP on Kino, so detrimental for him. But he's going to be taken out. Coppers win their first round here on Oregon. All right, here we go. We see Cleveland on the Amar. So far, the star player for the Copper team is he's the only one that's been able to kill Kino out of four rounds now. I'm interested to see if we're going to see some sort of an Amar rush here. Detroit going to be pushing in through Big Tower right now. Looks like the Amara gadget could come out here. I'm really wanting to see him go straight in through this kid window. That's exactly what he's going to do. Kino, are you ready for it? He is the shotgun from Kino. Going to take him out. That's leaving Detroit in a terrible spot. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. 
So Detroit's actually going to be trying to open up the main breach a little bit, which isn't a bad idea. Minute and 50 seconds left. He has plenty of time to work some sort of a push if he chooses. Double Claymore on the trophy door. I'm not entirely sure why he would need to double Claymore that, but he has chosen to do so. You know, just inside of sight now, he does only have one more smoke grenade left as he used the other two to delay the push from Detroit. Shotgun in hand. Looks like Kino might try to swing here with the shotgun. A Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Kino versus our two bronze players. We have Fool and Avuti right now. Kino going to be aggressively taking by Easters right now. Actually able to open up uh, and destroy the shield that is inside of Archives right there. So Fool's shield is already gone now. Kino deep into Easters at this point. Flexing on us with that Cali Black Ice, but Fool is going to be at the end of 90 Hall right now trying to contest that. And these pre-placed drones from Kino have been absolutely amazing. These are those little things that sets apart a good player from a pro player. These pre-placed drones and just a lot of the little things that you see Kino doing is why he's one of the best. With that being said, he's going to be trying to push down into the 90 Hall right now. Doing a little bit of damage with that Cali Charge onto Fool, but nothing significant. And there goes the Voody. He's going to try to swing that Cali on Kino, but it's not going to happen. And there goes the second kill as well. Fool being taken down. Kino, so precise with those Cali shots. Ooh. Fool going to narrowly miss dying through that wall there as the reinforcement covers his head just as Kino shoots at him. That's also going to be a swing here from Fool as well, getting very ballsy. Red dot, long barrel on Valk. That is interesting, but Kino going to just walk straight into the bombs. I hearing that C4 rip and taking full advantage of it. Now that's going to be going to leave Avuti in the 1v1 versus Kino here. He's got the alibi, arguably the better gun for this particular situation, but Kino does not care. He's going to walk in. That Cali just so strong for some reason. I've never seen someone bring out a Cali in these 1v1 videos, but here we are. Kino pulling it off. All right, Kino going to be trying to push in through the supply window here. And, ooh, Fool going to take a lot of damage on Jaeger here, bringing him to about 30 HP. Kino inside of the bomb site now, missing these Cali shots. And Fool's going to be able to rotate out of there while Avuti tries to walk in and take his place as Kino is in the bomb site, So the defenders can't get too happy with the positioning from Kino here. Fool just on the other side of this wall right now. Kino possibly going to try to go for a plant here. Avudi doesn't have the C4. He actually has barbed wire. So there's no way he can C4 to make a line of sight into the bomb site here. And Kino's going to take full advantage of that. He's going to actually plant the bomb here. And Fool and Avudi just stand by while it happens. Here comes the swing from Avuti, but Kino just playing so passive inside of the bomb site. Now, Fool actually trying to flank out through the supply window. Maybe that is going to work for him. SMG comes out from Kino. That's the down onto Avuti, and Fool is outside right now doing what he can, but he's going to have to rotate back in the wall bang right now, bringing Kino to about 50 HP. Fool trying to push back in through supply right now, but Kino's just holding the angle. Who's going to win this gunfight here? Fool's going to do a wide swing. The recoil control is very difficult for him. Seven seconds left. There's no way that Fool could win this round, but he could at least come away with the kill, and he does. Kino going to die, but defended the bomb long enough to still win the round. 3-0 for Kino now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is potentially the last round for our two bronze players here, and they're trying to go out with a bang. We've got Fool on the Blitz and Avuti here on the Ying. Definitely going to be a rush strat here. Coming out of our two bronze players into archives. Let's see what Kino has prepared for this. So far, not much of anything. Just patiently waiting, sitting inside of archives right now. Trying to get some pre-fires to the wall, but nothing going to. Hey, he's definitely going to hear that blitz now and definitely the ying. So that could prove to be a problem for Kino. I actually love the use of his zombies as well. You see he's placing them on soft walls just as a temporary reinforcement, basically. I think that's really cool. Fool going to be trying to breach open these walls here. That Azami I was talking about going to get blown up through that breach charge. So two walls are now going to be opened up into the archives. Let's see how Kino chooses to handle this now. Blitz going to walk straight in. Now this could be bad, but it's not going to matter because Fool is looking the wrong way. So it's all up to uh, Avuti now. And he gets Azamied out. Perfect time to Azami that door from Kino. Smoker days are going to come out. And Avuti is going to try to go for a plant. I would have thrown some Cadellas too, as he has two left. You know, 
meleeing his zombie trap that way he could push inside the bomb is going to be planted though here come the candelas from avuti you know going to be full blinded from that pre-fire is coming out from avuti can he clutch this out for his teammate you know, not able to shoot those Candelas, but he was able to stop himself from being blind now. The pre-fires are coming out from Kino, and he's going to win that. Ladies and gentlemen, Kino wins 4-0 to zero over the bronze players. Well played. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be round number one here on Villa versus our two silvers here, Dorito and Rallo. And Rallo is going to be peeking very aggressively right now onto Kino, who's pushing the study balcony. But wow, a quick peek from Kino, able to take out Dorito, who was on the main stairs balcony there. And another kill for Kino as well onto Rallo. A very swift round for Kino against the two silvers here on Villa. Check out this pre-placed drone from Kino. Maybe I'm out of the loop, but this is a very solid drone here. And I'm sure he's going to use that to its fullest when he's pushing the site here. Looks like Rala is actually going to be trying to go for some sort of a C4 kill spawn peak, but Kino on hams inside of spawn is going to dodge that C4. Dorito checking camps as well. You definitely tell we're going higher up in the ranks as more of these players on defense are starting to check the cams at the start of the round, which is something you should be doing if you are not already. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Kino is going to be aggressively pushing up onto this master balcony. He does have that amazing pre-placed drone inside of that statue so he's gonna have all the information that he needs as well as the second drum to get any additional information all three of the triple wall has been reinforced so no angle for kino through that he's gonna go ahead and push in through the closet here though the door is castled but he is cali he has basically four ash charges so we'll see how he chooses to use them rallo doing a lot of damage on akina right now putting him to about 50 hp inside of the bathroom Ooh, a wall bang narrowly missing Kino's head there as well. Looks like Dorito is trying to shoot over the triple wall for some reason. He doesn't have a C4 and neither does Rallo, so I'm not sure the reasoning behind that. Kino just playing very passive inside of the claws right now, waiting for the swing from Rallo, who is currently swinging with a deagle. And I'm not sure if he's going to win that gunfight here. Minute and 40 seconds left, so Kino does need to make a push here. The time is not on his side whatsoever. Dorito just playing very passively inside of statue rallo just holding the door closed but kino's going to be here and the missed shots from kino that's rallo going to take him out round number two goes to the silver players all righty round number three has begun and kino is going to start it off by pushing the study balcony but he's gonna have to be careful as rallo is peeking very aggressively onto the balk itself but kino's going to be able to take care of that shield destroy that rallo still does have one thorn trap in his pocket to work with kino with a great pre-placed drone underneath that study table and be able to get all the information that he needs. Rallo swinging, but he's going to get downed. You know, might not be able to finish that kill, but he does have a 1v1 on his hands here. The couch narrowly getting him killed by that thorn trap right there, but he's luckily able to dodge it. Kino in sight now. Burrito just playing passive behind the pool table. Somewhat of a common angle, so this could be bad as Kino is going to most likely pre-aim this as he is doing right now. Pre-fires come out through the wall. Nothing is going to land for Dorito, and Kino's going to try to get that plant down right now, and Dorito's really not in a position to counter it whatsoever. Impact grenade comes out through the wall, but it's too late. Kino's already planted the bomb, so all he has to do is hold and wait for another 35 seconds. Oh, and there's the shot by Kino. Dorito trying to run by that rotate hole straight into the vault, but it's not going to work for him. Kino's reaction time is just too fast. And that is going to be round number three going to Kino. And that is also the last round of the split, meaning Kino is going to be on defense for the first time here on Villa. Alrighty, round number four has started here. And Rallo and Dorito doing much of what Kino did, trying to push in through that study balcony. But Kino trying to do some parkour on top of this chair right now. Going to get an angle over the fireplace. And that's your ace down. Dorito going to fall. Rallo going to try to swing and refrag. Not even really sure where Kino is at. And because of that, Kino going to take him out as well. Great positioning by Kino to win out that round there. All right, so Dorito and Rallo going to be trying to go for an abstract strategy here. Sledging open the barrels inside of Wine Cellar and going to push up probably through Astro Stairs right now. Kino as Rook is going to be inside of Trophy Room right now. So he's going to be able to most likely hear the push coming up from Trophy, or, uh, trophy side exactly as he is right now. A lot of damage onto both players here. That's going to be Dorito getting taken out. For some reason, Rallo lacking behind he could have easily refract there if he was right on his teammate kino was running low on ammo that could have been an easy kill for him but here comes the swing from kino rallo trying to throw a grenade and that's going to be kino winning out against the silvers four to one Oof, that hit fire 
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are on Skyscraper for the first time possibly ever for one of these verse videos. And we're going to have Kino once again on his Kali. He told me he's trying to bring Kali into the meta. So I guess if you guys are looking to play Kali, he knows the one to look at. And look at that 180 one tap by Kino onto Glizzy. Oh my God. That was a great shot by Kino. So it's going to be a 1v1 now. Up to Mishap, who's going to swing, but Kino once again with the shot on this Kali. Oh my god, the accuracy from Kino is just unreal. The quick scope of all things. Lizzy typing in chat said, I really underestimated how good this guy would be, Lamal. <laughs> yeah, I think that's been pretty much everybody every single game so far. The Copper players the first game told me they had no idea who they were even against. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's a theme today. So it looks like both of our defenders here are trying to spawn peak. So it looks like gold is the rank where all of the defenders try to spawn peak here. We saw the silvers. One of them spawn peaked one time, but it really looks like that the gold is where you start to see the spawn peaks coming up. And that could be a problem here for Kino as Glizzy is right next to the repel on this window here. Mishap just on the other side of this wall. He was ready for the play by Kino. I was watching it happen. I think Mishap heard the run up from Kino and expected him to breach open this wall. And there he is just sitting inches from Kino. I doubt he had any idea that that was going to happen when he went to sludge the wall right there. All right, Kino going to be pushing up into the office balcony here but he's gonna have to contest mishap who is on top of the table peeking these head holes right now he's gonna do a little bit of damage onto kino but kino's gonna do massive amounts of damage onto him with that cali shot you know about 50 hp right now but definitely winning in terms of hp in that engagement here comes the c4 that's gonna do even a little bit more damage to kino putting him down to about the same hp as mishap glizzy just playing very passive behind the bar inside of office here Two minutes left on the clock, and Kino honestly not in a good position here. He's got a double crossfire on his window. The wall is reinforced and banded, so there's no way he can walk in through the wall. So he has to pick basically one window or doorway to walk in through, and Glizzy is going to be there on said doorway to defend against it. So Kino going to be down for the first time, one to two. Mishap going to be thermiting the soft wall. Not something that you see every single day, but Kino... Far from Geisha, so it's going to work out for him now. Two minutes left on the clock. They have plenty of time to make a push here. Kino's first round on defense. He's going to be picking up that Azami. Love to see the Azami. She's really good in these 1vx situations here. Can build so many points of cover, as you can see Kino has done here. Now, Glizzy has already pushed up into the Geisha hallway here. And Kino might go for a swing, but wow. Glizzy just able to pre-fire and take out Kino. Kino all the way down on match point this is not good all right ladies and gentlemen it is match point right now and not in kino's favor remember kino's goal here is to get past the golds as that's what newer is lost to here but mishap is trying to stop all of that from happening very aggressively pushing up the black stairs here and we also see glizzy pushing it behind this could be it this could be it for kino it's going to be mishap takes him out GG's, ladies and gentlemen, Kino is going to fall 4-1 to one to the gold players. What's going on, Kino? What happened there? I don't know. I really just, don't. They're just too good. Glizzy Lizard. Not much I can do there. Listen, if it makes you feel better, Newers was 4 0 You were 4 one Yeah, I mean, at least you were able to 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 lose 4 one right? Like, you don't want to be Newers and lose 4-0. <laughs> I don't it's, mind. It's weird, though. It seems like the golds, both times I've done this video have been able to win. I, I was not expecting that, to be honest. I thought it was a fluke when Newers lost.